Hi there, I'm Lara Shannon. It is now day five down at Melbourne South Bank, where behind me we still have standing strong the 10 metre bottle of church block wine, made of course almost entirely out of corks. Yesterday we saw the bottle officially blessed by Father Bob Maguire, and last night we had the bottle under lights, unveiled by Australian funny man Pete Rothorn. We then had a great old night at Left Bank in Melbourne where we saw people enjoying the Wirra Wirra wine range and of course celebrating our work of art. Well here I am with Andrew Kay, the Managing Director of Wirra Wirra Vineyards. Now Andrew, this is a pretty spectacular bottle. Is this kind of work unusual for Wirra? Look it's not unusual for Wirra Wirra, it's probably unusual for the wine industry to do something like this but people who've been to our winery in McLaren Vale would would have been greeted by a massive post and rail fence known as Woodhenge. They would have seen the, uh, the bell tower, the Angelus bell that sits atop the winery. They would have seen the massive um, cricket bat ball and stumps carved out of red gum that sits on the ground. So for Wirra, it's not unusual. In fact, it's probably a fairly typical Wirra Wirra. <laughs> okay. Now, Church Block, is there a particular reason why Church Block has been the focus of this campaign? Well, it's our, our best known wine. When, when Greg Trott started um, Wirra Wirra back in 1969, um, the first wine he produced was, was Church Block and we had our first vintage uh, back in 1972. And from then it's just become the wine most associated with Wirra Wirra. It's, it's uh, best known around the country but also around the world as being what represents um, the Wirra Wirra brand. Okay, and one of Australia's favourite red wines of course. Which brings me to the wine tastings which seem to have been really successful for this week so far. Well, they have, if you can judge the fact we keep running out of wine at every session. As, as a, a barometer, they've gone really well. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you, Andrew. It's certainly been a great campaign. Of course, before we go, I'm going to try one more time. How many corks have been used for this? About that many, Lara. Yeah, about that many. All right, so it looks like I'm not going to get any more than between 50 and 100,000. So don't forget to visit the website, ourworkofart.com.au, to make your guess. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thanks, Lara. So don't forget tomorrow, Friday, is the last day for the free wine tasting. Come on down between 12 and 2 and 5 to 8 p.m. And also don't forget to take a look at the 10 metre tall work of art and make your guess of how many corks have been used. The trucks are going to be pulling up at 8 p.m. tomorrow night to take it on its long journey home back to the famous Wirra Wirra McLaren Vale Winery.